uh, four states plus D.C. that have voted to legalize recreational marijuana. Is it, and other states have it on the ballot, more states will have it on the ballot. Is it inevitable? I don't think it's inevitable. I actually think, you know, the reason why we're seeing the uh, eroding support nationally, although we saw Oregon and Alaska, which were, you know, go, go for this. Eroding support uh, well, after 56% we'll well, well, in Oregon? 51% versus excuse, the Gallup me? poll saying 58% last year, uh, as we the all The Gallup poll, as you know, so, is an outlier well, last year. Let me finish, Ethan. Hold on. You know have your cell in the jar. Speaking over there, is that legalization, well, the Gallup just showed a 7 percentage decline. Look at that. Look at that number right there. So, 51, so the, that's right, and it was 40. It was 58 percent last yeah. year. And the reason you're seeing this reduced support is that actually legalization in theory sounds a lot better than in practice. In practice, it's about the gummy bears, the candies, the chocolates, these big manufacturers, as you just showed on your on your segment with these this kind of big marijuana business. It's <laughs> not about hippie smoking a joint net now and then. I, I really could care less if a 50 year old guy wants to smoke marijuana in the privacy of his own home. That's very different than what's going you on in Colorado. You just want to buy it illegally from no, criminals. No, he can, I don't care if he's grossing no, no, no. himself. That's what, Ethan, you want, the, what yeah. I don't want, though, is... is, well, is the so, so, you, so you're happy you know? with no, the gummy right. bears and the yeah, chocolate, all chocolates all that are targeted towards you know, kids interesting? in Colorado? Oregon, the Oregon voters... Sure. Answer his right. question, though. No, no. What, are you, what, what do you think of the edibles, like gummy bears and chocolates and they all that? They need to be better regulated. And what you see happening in Colorado and Washington right now are regulations to better control that. But you're not having it better regulated because of the industry. It's also a relatively new phenomenon. No, the industry actually has a pretty strong interest in regulating they, this stuff. They have so said no to every is, sensible the whole thing. issue of, of, of the gummies and the edibles yeah. is going to become less and less of an issue. The vast majority of people who take marijuana in an edible form don't have a problem. The other thing is, unlike alcohol or opiates, you don't die of an overdose. It's not a good thing to overdose on an edible, but it's not dangerous. Like, can you die from marijuana, from a car crash, from falling off a building? Yeah, but as, quite as, frankly, if you're, on an, ed if you're on an edible, you're not driving. If you have too much edible, you're so, lying down. That's well, what you're doing. I, I think that's what's so happening. Quite frankly, the interesting thing also is in <laughs> Oregon and Alaska. <laughs> Drive. In Oregon, Alaska, you saw the opposition really, try to make <laughs> you saw the opposition try to make something in this edibles argument, and right. the Oregonians looked at it and said, "You know something? Let's stop kidding around. Let's yeah. stop leaving underground. Why have illegal edibles as opposed to legal edibles? Yeah, Why right. not tax the control there regulations?" Gummy bears stuff. before and the fact Colorado that legalized, well, and uh, the fact that actually, actually Colorado's had a tripling. It's not a joke. And gummy, fatal gummy, car crashes with people and Kevin, high on marijuana. And gummy bears so are a modern. A they're a contemporary version of the old marijuana brownies. And but most of us, most of us, went, this is most of us who went to, excuse me, most of us went to college. Remember having a little too Why much of an edible back then. Why not stop at letting an adult smoke marijuana in the privacy of his home, or even grow his own, versus starting this commercial market? It's because there's a lot of money to be made in this, Don. This is about money. This is about creating yeah. another tobacco is, industry for a small number of people. You sound yes. like more. This but, is a, more of a libertarian yeah. approach that you're you're talking about. Like, stay out of my home. Yeah. What I do in the privacy of my own home. Just don't target. Don't have gummy bears. Yeah. I eat a lot of gummy bears, and I'm, you know, well, a man yeah, of a sure certain age. But, but, but when the serving size is, do you eat one leg of a gummy bear, or do you have a whole bag? You would no doubt like that these things would be labeled properly, that you would know the dose and the potency. So what right? do we under do? Under a prohibition model, that's not going to happen. What do there we isn't do? gummy bears what under a prohibition do? model. Aren't we making this tough, though, <laughs> because it's not legalized everywhere, right? And, it's, and are we making it tough for employers in yes. places that regulate the you workplace know. issue Excuse is enormous. There, the, the issue about testing positive in the workplace, the safety issues, people saying, wait a minute, I smoked on Friday or night, uh, now it's Monday. You know, the interesting it's, thing, though, these are the arguments positive. that used to carry these, some these weight. These are used to carry some weight. Oh. What you see is the vast majority <laughs> of Americans who are now voting to legalize marijuana don't use They're marijuana. Voting to legalize. And you know what That's else? That's true. You know what else? And the but people who want... The people who want to the people who want to vote to legalize marijuana right now, right? These are they no more want their kids using marijuana than do the people who are opposed to it. The bottom line is we see a massive shift happening in American public opinion over the last 10 to 15 years. People are saying we want the cops focusing on real crime, not busting young people for marijuana. They're saying we want the government taxing and regulating it and using the tax revenue for things like education instead of yeah. the gangsters getting the money. That's the way. That's why two years from now, watch for California and other right. states to begin to legally regulate these states. These states are well. trying to legalize okay. this in the last couple. Years because also of uh, because money nine million dollars was pumped in. Well, hold on, let's go Oregon and California. Nine million dollars. Nine million dollars. It did work for you. Nine million versus four hundred thousand in messaging. I think as we live with the consequences of legalization, Don, there will be a backlash that proponents are.